Hi, my name is Mary Hildinger and I am a Sage 100 consultant for DWD Technology Group. I want to share with you a new feature that came out in Sage 100 version 2021. This feature allows for you to define default form settings for your users. Where we go to get this started is we will start in the library master module. We will go to the setup folder and in the setup folder, we should see a new option called default form maintenance. If you're on Sage 100 2021 or 2022 and you do not see this particular option on the menu, that's probably because we don't have our permissions correctly set to show us. So make sure that you have your role maintenance set up correctly so that we have access to this particular task. I'm going to go into the default form maintenance and what this is going to allow us to do is on a company by company basis, we can set up default form codes for either roles or for users. We can't mix and match, so I can't set up for a role and then change it and have a user setting. Um, I will have to pick either one or the other. I'm going to go ahead and use the ABC company as an example here. And once I select the company, I can choose whether I want to identify these settings based on particular roles or whether I want to define these based on particular users. Now, you will notice that under the user listing, we have not only individual users listed, but we also have a setting for all users. So if I decide that I want to just go ahead and across the board make this the particular form setting definitions, then I could go ahead and pick all users and I don't have to worry about which role I set this for. I'm going to go ahead and choose by the role in this particular example. Once I pick a role, then you can see that all of the different forms that are available for my installation are available. I have my AP check printing, I have my AR invoices or statements, I've got purchase orders, I've got payroll checks, I've got all my sales order forms. So again, depending on what modules you have installed, you may see a different list than what we have displayed here. I'm going to go ahead and set up a couple of different um, forms and show you how some of this will work. So as an example here, if I want to go ahead and set up a default form code for my sales orders, I can choose one of the customized forms that are available or I can choose the standard form. I'm going to go ahead and select the, the customized version. And not only can I pick the customized version that is in existence, but I can also choose whether or not I want to lock that form. If I choose to lock the form, that will prevent any user within this particular role set to, from changing that form and choosing another style of form to print. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Another thing that I can do is if I do not have a default or a customized form for one of the other types of forms that I print, I can default a style or the template. So as an example here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my packing list. And you can see here that I get the choices of the different templates. I might have that pre-printed or that plain, or maybe I want the marbled or a dot matrix style of form. Again, um, this is really handy that we go ahead and select because we can then lock out any user from choosing another style of form. Once I've got these forms selected, I can go ahead and accept. I can go ahead and set up all of these or just the ones that I know that I'm going to use. That's perfectly fine. And when I go to choose one of these particular form styles to print, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my sales order module and try to print a sales order. I will see, because I locked that particular form, 
I now have no choice of printing anything else. If I don't lock the form, then I would be able to choose or possibly even create an alternate form code for this particular printing function. So how does this all behave? When I am setting up the default forms and I want to decide what's going to take precedence, perhaps I do have a, a form definition based on roles, perhaps I have a form definition based on a specific user, perhaps I have form definitions defined for all users. What's the hierarchy of how this works. The basic um, gist of this is that if I have created a default form for a specific user, that would take precedence over any other setup. If I have a role that has a default form setup, then if there's not a specific user, then the, the role will come next. Otherwise, it would look to all users or it would just simply resort to the default form without any definition in the default form maintenance. So you can specify these um, default form codes. It can be very, very useful for you. And as I've mentioned, it, it can at least perhaps um, prevent your users from creating additional form codes that might not be necessary. I hope this has been helpful for you. And if you have any questions, please reach out to DWD Technology Group, area code 260-423-2414. Thank you very much.